Ah, uh, the whole the whole locker room, the whole locker room. You know, some guy said you was trying to ride time. I was like, no, I was trying to score. I just ran out of gas. I was tired. It was a hard fought game, and you know, Boston College came to play, and we came to play as well. And you know, it, we came out the victor, so it was good, good game. How much would you guys kick yourself as a team had you not won this game, considering the missed opportunities in the first half? Well, you know, we had a lot of missed opportunities in the first half, but you know, we're uh. We're a resilient team, and you know we got great leadership on the team. You know, Ty Sambrello, Garrett. You know those guys came and pulled us all together. Even though we made mistakes, you know everybody make mistakes. Just some plays stick out more than others. You know, some people got to be deep in coverage. Some guys, you know, then read their keys, and then on offensive line, you know we got a couple shots on Garrett that we could have prevented. But you know, all together, it was a great game, and you know that's all. That's all in football. You got to be able to overcome it. You know, Dana Parsons a really big win. In your previous stop. Yes, sir. But is this the more is this more fill, fulfilling type of win because of the participation in the Yes, sir. And uh, just saying that I grew a lot, and you know, uh, Coach Mack always talk about uh, the best game is your next game, and you know, a lot of championship teams I was on, and that was good. But right now, I'm playing for Colorado State, and that's my main focus, and that's why I want to come out and give whatever I can to the team. You know, whatever we can do, whatever I need to do for the team, that's what I want. Do you see this as a kind of win, though, that can really take this program to another level? Oh, yes, sir. We've been going to another level. You know, it, we started it when we came out this year. You know, that's all we've been talking about since camp, you know, the climb. So, and it's, it's been tough. You know, even going through camp, but we got a great team, great group of, group of guys, and it's just like we all young, so we ain't even tapping our potential yet. Like you know, you hear a lot about we're a second half team, but while we can't be a first half team, if you know what I'm saying, it's just like we gotta. It's, it's all a mindset for us, and we got to come out and know that we can be a first half and a second half team. If you take away those turnovers, you know, one in the red zone. One and uh, on their side of the field, you know, we take those away. It's easy. We win by 14 points. Not trying to be cocky or nothing, you know, but we easy win by 14 points. We we marching down the field, so it was a great win for us. How nice was it to get the offense with the running game back as part of the offense and the key component of it? Yes, sir. It was good, and I take a lot of blame for that because I feel like I'm a leader of this team, and. The past couple games, you know, our running game wasn't as, wasn't as great. You know, UC Davis, Boise State. And, you know, I talked to Trey and I talked to uh, Jason Olin, even Eric Williams, and I told them all before the game, I said, you know, we're going to need everybody. You know, even when J.O. come in, you get that third, third and three, third and two, that's a big swing of momentum in the game. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. But, you know, Jason, he worked real hard in practice, and I don't think he get enough credit for, you know, those third down conversions that we took up in the game. You know, that was big. That was great. That was great. You know, he came out the field, and he was like, thank you. I was like, no, thank you. Because, you know, 52, you know, they got, they got some good big guys on that side of the um, ball, especially on defense. And he put his head down, put his nose down. He got he grinded those yards out. And, you know, everybody have a role on the team, and we have to pull it together, be grown about it, and come out and get a win. So you made the big run to get to the five, and then Trey, Trey has knocks over three guys and gets the end zone. Yes, kind of an example of how you can be the one two. Yes, sir. I mean, not even one, two punch. I say one, two, three punch. You know, uh, that's why I say Jason Oden don't get a lot of credit because, you know, he ain't in that one, two punch, as y'all would say. But, you know, we need everybody. You know, I don't want to count nobody out because you can say one, two punch, but if Jason Oden could have easily been in on that, uh, that first and goal, you know, when we down there inside the 10. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of thanks to Trey because he come to practice and he worked hard too. And, you know, he made three guys miss and he got in the touchdown. So that was good. I like to see everybody do good. We don't get a lot of chance to talk. About that, yes, sir. General question, how much are you enjoying yourself? Is this turning out to be what you would hope? Uh, to be honest with you, it's better than I hope. You know, a lot of guys don't get a second opportunity, and that's what I look at it as. And I feel like I'm blessed, and I give all the glory and honor to God because it's happened a long road. But, you know, when you keep fighting, you don't give up. It's always good.